It is with great pride that I am here to present the Selikoff Award to Dr. Andrea Wolf. I have known Dr. Wolf, uh, or more lovingly as I call her, Wolfie, uh, for about 20 years when she was a surgery resident at Harvard. I was lucky enough to recruit her here uh, after half the country wanted to recruit her. Uh, she is the director of our New York mesothelioma program uh, here uh, at Mount Sinai, and she works together with Dr. Christian Rolfel, who is one of the foremost oncologists uh, in mesothelioma, and uh, Dr. Ken Rosenzweig, who is uh, the radiation oncologist that basically wrote the book on radiation uh, for mesothelioma. Uh, Dr. Wolf is also uh, the principal investigator of an exciting trial that we have here at Mount Sinai, uh, injecting poly-IC into the tumor, a drug that stimulates the immune system uh, to combat mesothelioma even before we start doing surgery. Uh, we have exciting news that we even had a patient who had a complete response with this therapy, which is unheard of in mesothelioma. So we're excited moving forward. Uh, Dr. Wolf is an extremely intelligent and thoughtful doctor, uh, a superb surgeon, and just an amazing human being. Uh, I couldn't be more proud uh, of someone to receive this lifetime award, uh, even though she has still just only begun to make an impact on this disease. Uh, so we will expect many great things in the future. Uh, I would like to thank ADAO and Linda Reinstein uh, for recognizing the greatness that is Dr. Wolf uh, in her battle with mesothelioma. Thank you. Congratulations, Wolfie. Thank you to Dr. Flores, Linda, my colleagues on the Scientific Advisory Board of the ADAO, and to you, the patients, experts, advocates, and supporters attending this meeting. Growing up in a working-class neighborhood in New Jersey, land of Bruce Springsteen, I always felt a special connection with real people, the underdog, just the type of folks who are at risk of diseases due to asbestos exposure, like lung cancer and mesothelioma. I operated on my first mesothelioma patient as a resident over 17 years ago. The realization that his cancer was due to asbestos exposure at work blew my mind and broke my heart. I spent my fellowship training public health education and career since then trying to help people with mesothelioma. It's the reason I came back to New York, to Mount Sinai, to the place where Dr. Irving Selikoff discovered and sounded the alarm about the relationship between asbestos and cancer. But early in my career, I could only help one patient at a time with surgery. And surgery has only a small role in helping them. Even that's the subject of debate. I've learned from mentors like Linda Reinstein and Raja Flores and role models like Irving Selikoff, what it takes to help people on a larger scale. As a surgeon, physician, public health expert, as a person, I accept responsibility in pushing to get asbestos banned, as that is the only way to stop the ongoing suffering I see daily in my practice. Dr. Selikoff was an outstanding Mount Sinai physician and epidemiologist who saw something happening to his patients, figured out the culprit, and tried to solve it on a global scale. But to me, it was his New Jersey grit that helped him fight. He was just another underdog trying to do what was right. These are all things I want to emulate. So thank you to Linda, my parents, Georgie, Dove, my colleagues at the ADAO, patients, supporters, and especially to my friend and one of my heroes, Dr. Flores, for the Irving J. Selikoff Award. As another Brooklyn-born, Jersey-grown, Mount Sinai physician epidemiologist, it means more to me than you can imagine. I promise to continue this important legacy, to fight to get asbestos banned to protect our patients, and ensure a safer future for all of us. 